Hello and welcome to this webinar on how to submit a data article for the Elsevier journal Data in Brief. My name is Emma Bertran and I am a scientific editor for Data in Brief. I hope that this webinar will provide useful guidelines on how to submit a data article. In this webinar, we will provide a quick overview of this gold open access journal, including the types of articles that Data in Brief publishes. With that in mind, we will go over how to submit a data article through our submission system step by step. So firstly, what is Data in Brief? Data in Brief is a multidisciplinary open access peer reviewed journal. It publishes data articles that describe and provide access to raw research data. It contributes to open science and abides by the FAIR principles. According to these, the data that are being described in data articles should be findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. This means that a researcher should be able to find the metadata and data easily if the researcher searches for data in a repository. Once the data is found, it should be easily accessible and downloadable ideally without needing authorization. The data should be in a format that facilitates integrating it with other data and using them via a number of softwares. In this case, the data are interoperable. Finally, the data should be described well enough to be easily re replicated and combined in different settings, making it reusable. Data in Brief does have specific guidelines for what data are within the scope of the journal. Data in Brief welcomes all original data that have been collected or produced with a scientific method by the authors at a recognized professional research or academic institution. Data must be accurate, reusable, reproducible, replicable, and of value to the research community. More specifically, Data in Brief welcomes raw data, simulated data accompanied by the relevant code, negative data, and survey data. The journal has specific guidelines for sensitive data, secondary data, meta-analyses, and data from systematic reviews. Data in Brief is not looking for supplemental files from review articles or data from case reports. So how do we describe and communicate raw data? We use data articles among other articles types that Data in Brief publishes. Indeed, Data in Brief publishes a few types of articles. In this section, we will present the different article types. The main article type that Data in Brief publishes is the data article. Data articles only describe data. It is key that your data article does not provide conclusions or interpretations based on data analysis. Data articles must also provide the necessary information to access the raw data they describe. All protocols and methods must adhere to strict ethical guidelines. Please note that data articles published by Data in Brief are templated and it is mandatory to use the templates provided in our guide for authors. You may find the link to the guide for authors at the bottom of the slide. We also publish supporting articles, update articles, and perspective articles. Supporting articles support full length research articles. When you submit a research article to another journal inside Elsevier, you may be asked whether you should, you also wish to submit a data article to Data in Brief. If you respond yes, then you will be contacted by a commissioning editor with further instructions to submit. For this article type, please keep in mind the risk for textual overlap between the research article and the data article. We empathize that it can be challenging to reword certain sections of scientific text. However, doing so is key to avoid significant overlap between your data article and your research article. 
An update article provides authors the opportunity to describe a data set that they have substantially expanded by adding new data points. In this scenario, authors have already published a data article with data in brief and would like to describe the additional data points. For this, authors need to submit an update article. Please note that you need to contact the Data in Brief editorial office to request a template for an update article. You may be asked to answer a few questions with a few details on the update article you, need, you wish to write. A perspective article makes recommendations on the best practices to gather, describe, and share data in a given field. Please note that you need to contact the editorial office of Data in Brief to request a template for this article type as well and you may be asked to provide a short summary of the perspective you wish to write. Now that we have gone over the journal, our article types, and the type of data that we're looking for, let's go over how to submit to Data in Brief. In this section, we will first walk you through the general journey of submitting a data article, and then provide a step-by-step -step overview of how to submit using our submission system, Editorial Manager. Before you submit, please ensure to find a data repository that can host your raw data. Please keep in mind the type of data and the data set size hosting capacities of the repository of your choice. If you would like further information on which repositories to use, please use the link at the bottom of this page. This link provides a list of example repositories, both generalist and uh, specialized. Data in Brief provides another webinar on how to host your data, and I strongly recommend to check out that webinar if you need further help. After you have hosted your raw data in an appropriate repository, please visit our guide for authors to download or request the relevant template for your article. The template comes with many instructions. Please follow them closely and fill out the template. Please make sure to not leave any instructions in your final manuscript. Finally, log into Editorial Manager, our submission system, and upload your manuscript and cover letter. The first step of this journey is covered in another video, as I just mentioned. Please check it out if you need any help on how to upload your raw data on a data repository. Steps two and three we have already covered earlier. Let us now go over Editorial Manager, which is the last step of this journey. To submit a new manuscript, please log into Editorial Manager. You may have to create your own profile. Once you're logged in, go to the main menu and then to the New Submission section. There, please click on Submit New Manuscript. You must select the correct article type. This is key so your article can be handled in a timely manner. You will then be prompted to upload the relevant documents. At minimum, you are asked to please provide a cover letter and a copy of your manuscript. Please classify your manuscript. Please use accurate and detailed classifications. This will help describe the subject of your data article and will help us find editors and reviewers with the relevant expertise to handle the peer review of your manuscript and provide constructive comments in a timely manner. You will then be asked to suggest a few reviewers. This is a required section for submission. However, please note that the handling editor might not use the reviewers you suggested.
will then be asked to answer a few questions. Please remember that Data in Brief is a gold open access journal and thus an article processing charge is applicable in case of acceptance. Finally, you will be asked to provide additional relevant information on a few key sections. Please do not forget to build your PDF for approval. If you do not, your submission will remain incomplete and you will be receiving a reminder to complete said submission. So overall, what should you as an author remember when submitting a data article or any other article type to Data in Brief? First of all, please keep in mind that data articles only describe raw data and do not provide conclusions based on data interpretation. All raw data must be hosted in a data repository and made publicly available. This is a requirement in order to be published with Data in Brief. Please make sure that you use the correct template for your data article. And remember, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to the editorial office of Data in Brief. Please contact us at the following email address. We will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for listening. We very much look forward to your submission. And in the very last slide, I will provide a few useful links in case you have additional questions. Here you may find information on Data in Brief as a, at a glance, our guide for authors, the Elsevier Submission System Editorial Manager, a guideline on what data are suitable, and finally, a link on how to choose your data repository. Thank you again for listening. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.